Hello everyone, Neil from BookBull here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to take a previous project and upload it to a hardcover so that all of the dimensions are correct. Now as you see here, I am logged into the studio and we have this example that I've created and probably shown off in multiple videos before, which is a paperback book. You'll see there's a 6x9, 100 pages, and it is a paperback cover and interior bleed with black and white interior. If we go ahead and select that, it's going to load in this book where you can see I I have the cover selected, a front page, and a bunch of interior pages. Now you'll notice that each interior page is actually the same. Now a lot of people are wondering how to get this book into a dimension for a hardcover book so that they can upload that to KDP. So I'm going to walk through exactly how to do this. Now the first thing you want to do is come up here to project and download your project. Once you have a book that project downloaded, you will have a zip file. Make sure you extract this zip file somewhere on your desktop and you will have a two PDFs, so a paperback cover and a paperback interior as well as a sources file. Now we're going to reference that in a second, but let's start our new project for a hardcover. I'm going to select a new project. I'm going to select a hardcover and interior. I will give this a quick name and we can select the different trim sizes that are available for hardcovers. For this example, I'll just keep it at six by nine, black and white interior with white paper, and then bleed or no bleed with a page count. So I'm gonna keep this as bleed, I'm gonna keep this page count the same, and I'm going to hit create project. Now you can see that everything has loaded in, we have the cover, we have the page, and now we need to upload from the page menu. Okay, this is going to allow us to upload this sources folder, it's going to allow us to upload this. So if you come in here, you'll notice that in the sources folder, you'll have the paperback cover and then all of the pages of the paperback book. These sources right here are designed specifically to use inside of the studio. So let me go ahead and show you how that works. We'll go to page inside of the studio. We will load from file and then we are going to select this paperback cover. So I'm going to pause this video real quick and do that and then you will see what happens. All right, so we loaded everything in here and you'll notice that everything looks a little bit different, right? There's some issues with the background. That is perfectly normal. The reason for this is everything inside of a hardcover book is going to have different dimensions. So as you can see, we can take the background and just reposition everything like that. Now I'm not gonna take the entire time to move around every little thing. Remember this was the spine, so we could move this to make sure that it's going to fit the spine of this book properly. We could move these around. Remember, all the objects that you had in the paperback book will be included when you use the page and load from file section because those are designed to be used inside of the studio. So let's say that you've played around with this and you've got your cover looking exactly like it was before for your hardcover book. Now it is time to do the interior. Now, a lot of people have been opening up the file library and simply dragging and dropping their interior in here, but I'm going to show you a much easier way. Okay, so remember, I'm going to drag this back over here. We have the interior file right here as a PDF instead of uploading every single page, which can take a lot of time and it's really just a little bit cumbersome. We've introduced an upload PDF option. So if we select the upload PDF option, this is specifically for uploading one, two, three, however many PDF files you need, uploading certain pages that already have margins inside of them. So I'm gonna choose the PDF, again, from my original download, and I will show you exactly how this works. So we'll come in here, we will step back to this, we are going to select the interior, I'm going to open this up and it's going to load in here, and I'm going to give it one moment to load that in. All right, now you will notice it is uploaded and you can see there's a hundred pages in this paperback interior. There is no need to upload all of those. Remember, they are all the same. So we're going to select the pages and I am just going to upload the very first one. Okay, now remember when we talked about the margins are different. So it's going to ask you what type of margins are included in that original PDF file. Now, if I open this up, you'll see that it's actually set to bleed. It is a paperback interior. So all we're going to do is select, hey, it's a paperback interior. And yes, it is bleed. These options here are going to be determined by what you are uploading. Okay, so if your if your PDF is different, select different options. But as you can see, I just showed you 
that the interior is a paperback interior and it has bleed and I'm just going to upload this one page. I'm going to go ahead and click on submit. Now right now it's going to go through and check the file and then upload it into its own folder so that we can use it. All right, so you can see that it's extracting the pages here and it's automatically going to add that first page into its own folder. So if I go back to the uploads page, you'll see that it uploaded it into its own folder and you see this is the intro page. So I actually made a mistake here on purpose because I could just add one intro page, but we want the actual interior. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to go back to uploads and I'm going to upload that same PDF. So I'll choose the PDF file here and I'll select the paperback interior and I will let this load in and once it's loaded in I'm going to select paperback interior I'm going to upload the second page instead of all of the pages so that we can then use that second page as a template for the rest of our project all right so I'm going to select a page two remember this was the original paperback interior so I'll select that as well as bleed and I will click on submit here so again it's going to extract the pages and put it into a folder and as you see you have it in here so I can either click on this which will add it to the current page or what's really useful is you can right click and you can use this page as a page template so let's go ahead and do that I can select all remember deselect the cover click on next and I'm going to keep that the same so I'll go ahead and submit and this will then add it to every single page in the actual interior now notice how this is within the lines because we did not change the option we had the option to constrain it within the cut lines otherwise if you wanted to go all the way to the outside you would simply select the other option when uploading and creating your interior file but you can step through here and look Every single one of these is the same and you can also go back inside of your file library and you'll have those different folders here. You can always right click and delete these at a later time if you want but you can always reuse those. So that is how you would upload a PDF as well as use those files from your paperback book in order to create a hardcover very effortlessly so if you guys have any questions or comments drop them down below and i'd be happy to answer them otherwise i hope this video was helpful for you and i hope you get a chance to go inside of the studio and create your next project thanks so much